All right. Good morning. Happy good morning. Friday. Happy Friday. It's a very good Friday out there. Hopefully, if you're watching this, it means you survived the storm. Yeah, those were those were crazy yesterday. Yeah, those were really really crazy. Yeah. I was uh, I, I was playing golf. Uh, oh. That was fun. Mm -hmm. um, there's a saying in golf: uh, if you're gonna if you're in a thunderstorm, hit a one iron, because uh, even God can't hit a one iron. <laughs> uh, Lee Trevino, for those of you of a certain okay. age. Um, but yeah, it was uh, it was an interesting day. Yeah, but it was. Yeah, they said fifty five in Law Pro was totally flooded. I, I saw, saw pictures of it. Yeah. it was nuts. Yep. So, all right. Well, hopefully you survived uh, and you have electrical power in your house. Um, things going on at the parish. Yes. So we're kind of getting the uh, Father Schneider and I, and I were just talking about how glad we'll be to be done with this month. It's a yeah. very full month. Very full. Uh, tonight, St. Peter and Paul uh, feeding the homeless. Uh, and as always, they, they're always in need of volunteers um, for the 20th, but also for the 4th of the month, yep. especially as we move through the summer. We, we like to focus those volunteers on our young people, grade school and high school and college. So um, think about that maybe as we move into June, July, yeah. August. The need is still there. We could really use uh, help there. And the sign up is online through the parish website. Yeah, always very important. Uh, Donut Sunday uh, will be this weekend. Uh, the front patio or the lobby, we'll you know see based off of weather. I think it's uh, going to be good weather, so probably just right when you walk out the doors of church. Good, good. Yeah, we enjoy having donuts for everybody afterward. Mm -hmm. It's just a great way to have some fellowship. Um, so that'll be sponsored by the St. Vincent de Paul Society. And what masses will that be after? Uh, 715, 845, and 1030. 7, 715, 845, and 1030. You heard it here first. So uh, get your donuts. I'll probably have a few. And uh, Me too. Yeah, yeah, it'll be a wonderful, wonderful time. The close of PSR uh, is this Monday, coming Monday. Uh, I'll have the, the final mass uh, around 6.30, I think. Yeah, so I should probably find that out. So I, you probably should. That's it'll probably, start when I get there. It'll start when you get there, exactly. Yeah. But, but uh, around 6.30. We want to thank all the teachers, of mm -hmm. course, for PSR this year uh, for their time and helping educate our young people who go to public schools uh, so that we can uh, give the Catholic faith to as many people as possible. And speaking of PSR mm -hmm. uh, and religious education uh, for our parish, yeah. Uh, our, our DRE, uh, Laura Flanagan, uh, will be taking a different position uh, to be a little bit closer to home, uh, also for her uh, incoming little one. Mm -hmm. uh, we're so happy for her. Um, so we're very, very grateful for her and for the service that she has provided for our parish over these years um, in helping spread the Catholic faith among all of us. We're going to miss her a great deal. Uh, she's leaving here at the end of the month. Um, so we pray for her, for her family, uh, for her future, and, uh, and yeah, for, for God's blessings for her. Absolutely, yeah. She's been here nine years, so it's a, a lot of people she's worked with. In, yeah, the RCIA as well, mm -hmm. my goodness, in yeah. addition to just PSR, uh, <clears throat> helping run our RCIA program. So anybody who's come into the church through Incarnate Word in the last nine years knows Laura. Uh, she's a wonderful, wonderful, faithful mm -hmm. person, and uh, we're going to miss her a lot. Absolutely. So eighth grade graduation is yeah. also taking place Tuesday. Um, next Tuesday on May 24th at 5 p.m., so we congratulate our eighth graders. They've already been confirmed and received that great sacrament and they'll be graduating from school on Tuesday the 24th. So I think they got a bunch of pictures of the eighth grade out in the yeah, gathering area shots. right now too. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're mug shots. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, either current or future. Uh, yeah, they're, <laughs> they're mug smiling. Shots. They're smiling so at least. Yeah, that's they're smiling sign. at least. They're, they're, they're pleasant mug shots, you could say. Um, but no, we're very happy for them and of course we pray for God's continued blessings on their future as they enter into high school next year. Yeah, and then we have uh, June 1st, I believe it yeah. is. It's a Wednesday. We have the food trucks that will be here. That's how excited we are to be into June, folks. Yeah. June 1st, we're throwing okay, a party. food trucks. Yeah, food trucks. Uh, before Encounter on Wednesday, June 1st. 5 to 7, five right, to seven. right in front of the main you know, patio in front of the church doors. And that always works out well. It gets shade from around that time until. Uh, so it's a nice place to visit, eat, uh, enjoy each other's company. So please join us. And, yeah. Um, you know, you'll have a lot of selection to buy your meal from both dessert and dinner. So uh, please show up for that. We'd love to have you yeah. and spend time with you. And then add, and then stay around afterward for Encounter. Uh, yeah. That's the idea. Kind of dinner and Jesus. So mm -hmm. Maybe a holy play on dinner and a movie. Yeah. Uh, dinner and adoration. Uh, so uh, come on out. We'd love to love to see you out there. Golf tournament. Golf, yeah, golf tournament. I don't know which one of us <laughs> wanted to take that. Uh, the uh, school golf tournament to uh, benefit technology improvements for the school. That will be Friday, June 3rd at the Landings at Spirit Golf Club out in Chesterfield Valley. Uh, Sign-ups for that are open. Is that on the parish website? 
Yes. Yeah, should be on the website. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be out there uh, hanging out. Uh, I won't be able to play this year because I've got a couple of events uh, around the very beginning and the end, but I'll certainly be out there on a golf cart, um, just checking in. Yeah, good. Maybe, you know, he and I will kind of be like the old guys in the Muppets, just making mm -hmm. fun of you on your bad shots. <laughs> um, we love to provide that service for all of you. Yeah, so we do. We do. Yeah, We're exactly. that way. Uh, because we, we definitely would not do the same things uh -huh. ourselves. So, um, but anyway, that'll help raise money for our technology improvements for the school, and that'll be Friday, June 3rd. Uh, so get a foursome together and uh, enjoy a nice day on the links. And then I believe a week from this Sunday is the Feast of the Ascension. Yeah, Sunday Memorial Day weekend, it's the Ascension. So some of you of a certain age might remember that Ascension uh, was slash maybe should be on a Thursday, uh, but our bishops have moved that to a Sunday so that all of us can observe it together. Uh, so that'll be next weekend. So it'll be an exciting feast. And the weekend after that's Pentecost. Ascension Thursday on a Sunday. Ascension Thursday, Sunday, exactly. So we got uh -huh. Ascension, Pentecost, Trinity Sunday, Corpus Christi. Mm -hmm. The next four weekends after this weekend are going to be just big feast after big feast after yeah. big feast. And then we settle into ordinary time, hopefully. We do, hopefully, yes. Yeah. Um, all right, uh, other things going on at the parish. Uh, a couple people have uh, passed away. Bill Jones, brother of Joyce Underwood of our parish. We pray for him. And also Gina Granada, uh, mother of Vito and Dino Granada of our parish. Uh, she passed away on Wednesday. I uh, went and anointed her uh, before she passed. So we pray for them, for their families, for the repose of their souls and the comfort and consolations uh, of their family and friends. Yeah, and then we have some baptisms. Nathan William Hebner, uh, child of Logan and Stephanie Hebner, and Lucas Michael Caspit, child of Vincent and Mary Caspit. So we congratulate them and yeah. look forward to having them with us in church. Yeah. All right, readings this weekend, the sixth Sunday of Easter. Hmm. Um, yeah. I'm going to be preaching on, so the gospel, <clears throat> the second half of the gospel is really Jesus' promise of the Holy Spirit. Uh, it sort of sets us up for him, first of all, leaving this earth at ascension, because um, the Holy Spirit, of course, <laughs> comes after, comes as a result of that. Um, but also in Pentecost, it sets us up maybe for the next couple of weeks. And um, I'm going to be talking about how the church and all of us are guided by the Holy Spirit in all of our doings. Uh, I'm going to use one of my favorite analogies. You might have heard it before, just the church as a boat, but maybe a look at kind of the role the Holy Spirit plays in that. Um, you could say Peter's at the helm of the boat. We're trying to get somewhere. We use the saints and the angels to help us you know, point the way, sort of like the stars, you could say. But you know, what, what's the Holy Spirit in that? I'm going to be, kind of be talking about what that is and sort of the implications of that for us uh, to go where the Holy Spirit leads us uh, as a church and as, as individuals too. Hmm. But that's you're not going to tell us the answer. We're no, to, I'm not. You got to you got to listen, gotta, you gotta gotta listen for it. Exactly. You got to come okay. to mass and hear the the whole, the whole crux of it. So. All right, great. And I'm going to sort of last week we had the the Jesus saying love one another, the new commandment, love one another as I've loved you, and then today he kind of fills out that command by saying, if you love me, you will keep my commands. So I just kind of reflect a little bit on first of all, do we know what God's commands are? Because I think uh, in our time, uh, even a lot of Catholics maybe don't know exactly what it is that Jesus wants us to do and ask us to do. And then even if we know his commands, do we keep them? And do we keep all of them? Or do we just say, I'll keep this one, but not that one? Um, so just sort of reflecting yeah. on, uh, you know, do we keep those commands? And that's a reflection of our love, depending on what we do with them. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. I think that's it. That's about all we have. Uh, another person to pray for uh, is my little brother, Kevin. Mm -hmm. uh, he's getting married next weekend, so I'm, I'm going to be up in Michigan for that wedding. But pray for him and his fiance Maddie. Uh, they're an adorable couple. Madly in love. Mm -hmm. L-U-V love, wow. as uh, yeah. one of my priest buddies would say. Mm -hmm. uh, but they're an awesome couple. We're really excited for them. And, uh, yeah. yeah, it's going to be a great family celebration. Great. That'll be and I'm doing the wedding, of course. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll pray for you too. It's yeah, <laughs> always interesting doing family celebrations. It is. It is. Uh, a priest friend of mine said having a family is like having another parish assignment yeah. sometimes. So, yeah. family weddings, family funerals—it's uh, just something we do as part of our life. So, great. All right. Well, you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. Enjoy the weather. Um, yeah, enjoy just a lot of these awesome year-end celebrations, whether it's graduation or confirmation or anything like that. Go uh, Blues. Go Blues. Yeah, go Blues. Blues won last night too. Yeah. Big win. Must win. So, all right. Take care. See you this weekend. God bless. God bless.